Okay, so I'm going to show you how to batch print. Um, so when I say that, I mean multiple reports at once, and I'm going to show you how to do that in Word and in progress. So to we're going to do progress first. So this is if what you're sending home with report cards after you update goals. Sign in always. You get here, and you're going to go to Special Education Progress Reports. And the reason my screen is so small is because when I go into Progress Reports, it shows all the students, <laughs> and we can't do that from every campus we serve so the first thing you're going to do just go into one of the students that you're you're going to print it just doesn't matter which one just one of your students um, and we're updating progress so we're going to select that we're just getting us at home and then we go down to the drop down and it says number seven is print multiple progress reports we go there okay so like earlier when I was here it showed everyone so that's why it looks like this so I already put student in I'm going to search that and so when I do that so when you're doing it you wouldn't search one student you would just do your whole campus say you want all of the kids at Dangerfield High School to show up you just select down here Dangerfield High School search all of your kids pop up we're great so for me um I'm just going to do that one that's only student out can legally show y'all and then you're going to come here always select this one because it'll show if they don't have objectives it'll just print goals but if they do have objectives it prints goals and objectives so select this and then uh, all of your students that you want to print for you're going to either click this button or you can press add all so once we got we have this all of the students here that we want the goals printed for we're going to say create report so we do that and then you're like where did it go i'm so confused so you're gonna um i think it's here you're gonna go to reports i'm kind of scared <laughs> and what it's going to show y'all when i do that so i'm just going to go down here so I'm go to reports and then you're going to go to v list reports and when you go to this, I'm not going to go there because it's going to list students that I previously printed for. Um, and I, I don't want to redo this video because I already have like three times. So you're going to go to list reports and that top one up there will be there. There will be a list of everything that you like created. The top one will be the one with all the students and you can just print it from there or you can email it to yourself. And then that's what you would need to give your campus secretary to send home for um for the um, report cards, okay? So that's pretty simple. The other thing I was gonna show you is if you, like for example, this is what I see a lot, your counselor or your principal or whoever is gonna be like, I need all special ed schedules or I need all star accommodations. And if you had to individually go into each student, it would take forever. So you're just gonna go to special ed art forms and you go into one of the students that you see and what we're doing is we're providing services and we're reading the IP because we're giving it to someone who's entitled to have it not just random um, for them to read so we're going to go in here and at the very bottom down here I know this is super I think it's super weird yeah down here 146 print batch why it's there, I don't know. But I don't work for East Bed, so I'm just used to it. <laughs> so you're gonna go here and you have all the reports. Um, so for example, you want, there's some bundles up here too. So that's mainly what we would use. But down here, like if you wanted just the goals and objectives for your students, you click that. Let's say that for just today's purposes, we want all the star scores. You're gonna go here, again, select your students. If you want all the kids on your campus, select that campus, press search, it'll pop up. I only, we're only doing one student just because of confidentiality reasons. So they'll all pop up here and you can either click this button to get them added to the list that's here, or you can click add all. And when you do that, it's the same thing as progress reports. You you can select multiple things or just we're going to do star today and then we're going to create report. 
and then it'll pop up it says do you want to create this report for the following students if you have a bunch of the all list here say okay and when you say okay it's going to be on the, the same place the other one was you're going to go here sorry to reports and when i go to reports this pops up and you're going to go to the screen drop down and go to view prepared reports reports and if it's ready because those large files sometimes take a while it'll be at the top and say um, ready or a new print but if not if it's not ready it'll say working or pending or something like that and you can just refresh there's a refresh button and you can refresh, refresh the page and then it'll show up so and then you would have access to everyone um, that you selected and the report you selected so I hope that clarifies some things and makes sense um, and I know this will come up so if you have any questions please call um, or email me and I can get it to you as well but um, sometimes I'm not able to get that to y'all as fast as I want so hopefully this helps thank you